Well, good morning. Uh, it's 7th of April 2014. Uh, for this week's Trades of the Week, we're going to have a look at a few FX markets and uh, uh, DAX and also uh, one stock, actually, just to have a little bit of a run through of a variety of different asset classes. But starting off with uh, New Zealand CAD. Now, this is a trade we've talked about over the last week or two, to be honest with you. We went short here, 95.35 from the 26th of March. We're just going to look for a quick 60 points. And do you know what? It was a rough ride straight against us on the first day. Stops just above this candlestick here, by the way. So up here, next bar, next bar, next bar. We have another look up to that dotted red line, and it's really sort of struggling. But that was a great bit of rejection there on the 1st of April. Down, target achieved there. The market moving now nicely way beyond that uh, target zone. A little bit of a bounce from there. But you know what? I don't mind what it does from now because we've already taken profits on it. Took a few days, but eventually... We went down and hit target on that trade on New Zealand CAD. Uh, one trade which went really quickly, though, was Sterling New Zealand. Now, 60 points may not sound a lot for this market because it is a bit more volatile than the other currency pairs. The price of being quite high, so the pip count uh, often achieved quite easily. 93.88, the entry there back on the 2nd of April market, giving us a good, what, 130 points uh, profit there. We're actually just taking 60 points on that one. So, again, a nice 60 points chalked up on this trade as as well. Now remember we're still in Euro Swiss. We've been talking about this for the last few weeks and it really is the dullest market going. Uh, we're long here from the 6th of March 121.98 uh, and we're still in it. We had a nice little upswing over the last couple of days. It's trying to push above that 122.50 area there but it is struggling to do it. We're currently up about what 20 points or so. Um, you know, wow. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens over the next week or three. We're long, we're still long, uh, and hopefully we'll squeeze up over the next week and so we can get out of this dreary old trade. But uh, we, time will tell. Indices-wise, uh, you know, they've had a strong week, uh, you know, uh, to be honest with you, a sort of strong couple of weeks. A lot of those U.S. indices really outperforming some nice continuation trades on those. But in these videos, I like to focus on the sniper trades. Now, what was interesting about the DAX was probably the most buoyant market, had the biggest, smoothest upswing uh, after since the 19th of March there. 92.13 was the buy, just touched that target of that dotted red line once, twice on Thursday and Friday, just as we came into non-farm payroll. So a nice move there, uh, hitting that level really nicely. So around that sort of 96, 70 area there from original buy at 92.13. So that's maybe uh, sort of 400 and what, uh, sort of 60 points or so, uh, 450 points profit on that trade. Now, quite a few of our trends and users got out of that trade this morning. Why this target? To be honest, with a trade with the trend, we may expect up to here, but that's looking for new all-time highs on the DAX, and that may just be a bridge too far. But certainly a really nice profit on the DAX there, uh, and I say certainly a good 400 points plus, which is great to see. Finally, just going to have a quick look at a stock, and the reason I'm going to show BP, you can't get a much bigger stock. We've, I think we talked about it last week, uh, and, and here you can see why. It's been rotating so nicely. Great short, great buy, great short. And there was a buy given here on the 28th of March. And if you want to be really conservative, then you can just look for a 2% gain on these trades. So getting long from, what, 484. Um, so looking for, what, a 10p move there, just shy thereof. Uh, so we're looking up for 94. Well, we touched that just on non-farm payroll on Friday. So we hit another 2% winner on BP. So you can see that it doesn't matter really whether it's an FX index commodity or stock, you're going to pick up some great moves very visually, very cleanly using the trend signal charts. Sniper circles picking it up really nicely for even those of you that don't have a lot of trading experience. Anyway, that's uh, this week's Trades of the Week. We hope you enjoyed it and uh, we hope you uh, watch them next week. Catch you later. Have a good week. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.